Stephen Kokoulis, what a difference a month makes. Wow. And even what one economic data point uh, makes, because that March quarter inflation number blew everybody out of the water. It was very high, both the headline figure, which we know is things like petrol and... That was 5.1. 5.1 in annual terms, the highest in 20 years. So let's just... But can we just explain yeah. a little bit of that? Though? So what have they done? If 5.1 means they have taken all the previous quarters and the quarter for, for March and annualise that, and it, when they do the mathematics... It says we are running at 5.1% headline um, inflation. So that's the headline rate. That is the price of all the goods and services that an average Australian household buys, the price change over the 12 months to March. So yep. it includes things like your insurance policy, the price of potatoes, takeaway meals, cars, rent, computers, rent, housing. a whole bunch of stuff. What what you normally buy every day, every week, every month. Right. So can I just stop you there with that, Stu? Because I think it's important for us to just to dig into this a little yep. bit. How many categories are round about of goods and services are included in that number? There are 90 yes. broad categories. And one of those categories is food. So what's your definition of food? Meat, and then what's even within meat? Lamb, chicken, beef. So, so they, the ABS each quarter survey about 1 million prices. Now with automation and big data that we're seeing through technology and computers, they can do it relatively easily nowadays. They add all these items up and then they come up with the rate of increase in prices, and that's the inflation rate. Do they put any more weight on any one category, or is every category equal? No, the, the categories are not equal. What they do every five years is do a survey of how much proportion of each person's income do you spend on each category. So the weight is according to what their survey tells them. At the moment, dwelling rent is about six and a half, seven percent of the average household, remembering that 66 or 67% of people either own their house outright or with a mortgage, another 10, 15% are in public housing. So rent is not the is is a big item, but it's not the same as a person who rents who probably spends a you know a quarter or a third of their income on rent. We get this headline rate of 5.1. Now, what was interesting about that, it was above market expectations. So what was the market expectation that they yeah. exceeded? The market was looking for about 4.5, 4.6 depending on which survey you looked at. So the fact that we got it at least half a percent above that tells us, tells me, and the financial markets that inflation is much higher than we were assuming. They look at the 5.1%, the Reserve Bank at least, looks at that, and they actually want to, they want to see a cleaner number. Well, the ABS do it anyway, but they'll say to the ABS, what are the things in there that um, have spiked during, say, the last quarter, like in the, to the March, from December, from 1st of January to the end of March. What are the sort of things that the um, ABS has stripped out, just by way of example, yep. stripped out of that headline inflation rate to arrive at another number being the underlying inflation number? Well, for this last period, yep. it was petrol because that was an issue that was outside the control of of any policy maker. It's a global event, you know, the war yep. in, uh, in Russia and Ukraine. Well, it wasn't outside issue. our government. Our government's actually dropped oh, they have, oh, Indeed, they have. So that'll, that'll shut next quarter. That, that'll come in the, the June quarter. Correct. So yep. we'll have a big fall yep. in petrol prices. And by the way, the global price of oil has come down a little bit anyway. Yep. So that's sort of a double whammy. It's good yep. news. Uh, and again, the Bureau of Statistics, when they trim out or strip out these volatile items to get a meaning of what we might call true inflation, they take those very volatile items out to get what the sort of underlying inflation rate was. And remember, it was about 18 months ago in the depths of the COVID crisis when the government made childcare free for about six months. So the price of childcare went from zero, whatever it was, down to zero. Yeah. And in fact, we actually had headline CPI, CPI at minus 0.3. Because of the But you took influence. out that big negative, which pushed it back up to about 1.5 from memory. I can't yep. remember the exact number. So there can be both spikes up and down, and they take them out because they're not really inflation. The government decides something that's not really. Uh, it affects you and me, and the and the viewers, and you know what they pay for their childcare or petrol or, you know, bananas in Queensland. But it's not what the policy settings of monetary policy is going to change. Yep. Whatever you want to call, it, let's just call it the underlying rate for the sake of this conversation, is three point seven. Correct. Now, what was the 
expect market expectation of the underlying rate. Wow, it was at three point two again. So another half a percentage point overshoot we got for the outcome versus what the market was thinking. Now that's pretty important because yes, dripped out these things or you trimmed them out as they like to refer to it at yeah. the ABS, and it came back to some other number way below, uh, you know, way or around the expectations, then it wouldn't be so bad. But it's a, still a half a percent above the expectations. Correct. And then when you drill through these 90 categories that we were talking about a moment ago, you can see that the price increases were very broadly based, which is why there wasn't a big difference between the market miss yeah. in terms of its expectations, because you looked at... We're going I actually up. think I saw one category that went down. Yeah, I, 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 went, I went through all the categories, yeah, which amazing. is it's pretty boring. But and like, that doesn't happen very often. Normally, there's a few up, a few down. and But this time around, everything except footwear and clothing was up and up by quite an amount.